Action is advised. What you are going to see in the next 60 minutes is not meant to shock you or frighten you. It is meant to warn you. Oh my God. We have gathered breathtaking, heart pounding video from police agencies, helicopter and highway cameras, news departments, and freelance journalists who captured this amazing footage as it happened. Much of what you're about to see has never been seen before. We're gonna hit that cruiser, get out of the way! These agencies have sent us tapes from all over the world for one reason only. They want to help save your life. Because if you learn nothing else tonight, you will learn how to watch for danger. You will learn where to look, how to look, and most importantly, what to look out for. This is the moment of impact. I'm Sheriff John Bunnell. For 27 years, I've dealt with the tragedy of accidents. We take our lives into our hands every time we get into a car, board an airplane, or even cross a street. We travel at speeds where one mistake can mean the difference between life or death. So get ready, because we're going to show you how to avoid that one mistake. Pouring rain turns roads into water slides. Raging blizzards dump ice and blinding snow on highways. Howling winds blow vehicles off the pavement and towns off the map. Any kind of severe weather can make safe driving impossible. The only sure way to avoid a weather-related accident is to stay home. But what if that's not an option? When temperatures drop, tire-gripping asphalt turns into a slick, nearly frictionless surface. No one should be driving in these conditions, but police officers don't have a choice. During a snowstorm in Avon, Ohio, this cop is just like any other driver, at the mercy of frozen roads. Captured on police video, even a simple right turn can turn into a collision. But when an urgent call comes in, duty demands a cop get back on the road. In these frigid conditions, more speed equals less control. It's a near miss for the officer and the mailbox. Yvonne, I'm still in route. Unfortunately, when roads become as slick as a skating rink, a cop car becomes a one and a half ton bobsled that's not stopping until something gets in its way. If you're going to drive in snow, do use tire chains to improve your traction. But don't hit the brakes during a skid. It can cause your wheels to lock up. Lightning. It can knock down trees, take out power lines, and even start fires. What you are seeing is lightning striking power transformers. This cop on patrol winds up with a front row seat for a natural fireworks display. But the cop doesn't panic, and he certainly doesn't abandon his vehicle. He knows the car is his best protection. If you're caught in an electrical storm, do stay in your vehicle. The rubber tires will insulate you from electrocution. Gale force winds. Their destructive potential is seen everywhere, from coastal cities to America's plains. When these blustery gusts kick up dirt and debris, highways can turn into war zones. In Colorado, a sudden dust storm takes motorists by surprise. One driver rolls his home video camera as he tries to pass through the sandstorm. Where's the road? Visibility isn't just bad, it's non-existent. Moments later, 
can't see. By the time the driver sees the danger, it's simply too late. The car is wrecked, but the driver walks away unhurt. Not everyone is so lucky. Over a dozen people are injured in the terrible pileup. It didn't have to be this bad. If you are caught in a surprise sandstorm, do pull over and leave your lights on. They may be the only thing another driver can see through the haze. Sometimes, there is no safe place when Mother Nature is in a foul mood. Especially when tornadoes are involved. Near Okeechobee, Florida, a storm chaser drives into the teeth of a deadly twister. Then suddenly shifting to the east. Funnel clouds have been reported all over the area. In the dark, it's impossible to see the tornado tearing across the road until it's too late. Tornado just passed over my head. Tornado just went right over me. Cars flipped over. The unstoppable twister slams into the tractor trailer, knocking it over like a child's toy. The pressure on my ears. Amazingly, the tornado's destructive stampede across the highway claims no lie. Just got hit by a tornado. But it's a reminder of the raw power that Mother Nature can unleash at any time. The road is the last place to be when severe weather rears its ugly head. So don't be afraid to be afraid. Because on stormy streets, fearless drivers rarely reach their destinations quickly. Sometimes, they don't even get there at all. Of all the vehicles on land, none is more powerful than the almighty train. More than 600 Americans die in car train accidents every year. Yet we still push our luck at the crossing gate. Don't be fooled. This train may appear motionless, but it's actually traveling at 50 miles per hour. Even professional truck drivers can underestimate a train's awesome power. Crawford, Texas. A train barreled toward a semi stopped on the tracks. The semi gets demolished, taking power lines down with it. Unbelievably, even this tanker truck cuts off a train. A devastating decision. The aftermath is horrifying. The tragic result of one driver's impatience. If you think you can beat a train, think again. Taking that second thought could save your life. Texas A&M. Safety researchers use crash test dummies to supply valuable information about car to pedestrian accidents. But you don't need to be a scientist to know that the human body is no match for a speeding car. Ontario, Canada. As vehicles speed down this high volume freeway, an intoxicated man climbs over the guardrail. He needs to get home, but he's not going to hitchhike. He's actually planning to cross the remaining eight lanes of traffic. As a warning to drivers, he raises his arms, but they aren't responding. Undeterred by the danger, the intoxicated man sets out on his quest. More chaos as cars slam on their brakes. Miraculously, he reaches the shoulder. He's almost home free, but he has four more lanes to cross. He makes it safely across one, then two, now three, and finally four lanes. He reaches the shoulder. What happens next is unbelievable. An impatient driver, trying to bypass the traffic, arrogantly flies down the shoulder and smacks right into him. Miraculously, the man springs to his feet. He has no major injuries. He's so disoriented, he even shakes the hand of the man who hit him. Highways aren't built for pedestrians. These well-posted signs make that perfectly clear. 
Even so, this man's boozed out brain convinced him he could make it. He almost did. He was lucky it didn't turn deadly. If you need to cross a freeway, don't ever try it on foot. And don't drive down a shoulder unless it's a bona fide emergency. And even then, be prepared for anything. Coming up, on moment of impact, when the danger of crashing is part of the job. It can happen anywhere and cost you everything. Flaming fighters, raging drivers, unbelievable crashes. Next. the freeway on the street where you live. Whenever accidents find you, your life is on the line. The American spirit loves a fast car, from high performance sports cars to Formula One. But whenever you mix high speed with competitive driving, you better hope you have vehicles like that standing by. Professional race car drivers know they push danger to the limit every time they get behind the wheel. They practice for hours. The cars are finely tuned, high-performance machines. Still, something can go wrong. Ventura, California. At a local racetrack, weekend warriors begin the traditional lap before the race begins. We have a muddy track tonight, which should dry out quickly as the drivers get up to speed. One of the drivers clips the retaining wall. Oh, number 31 has taken a spill already. He wipes out going less than 40 miles an hour. Still, it's enough to roll the vehicle right into the path of other racers. A racetrack official hurries to the car to make certain the driver's safe. A fire control crew is also on the site in moments. The race has been stopped, but it looks like Gary is okay. We should start as soon as the track is clear. But there's a problem. No one has noticed that the gas tank is ruptured. The driver signals he's okay. Moments later, the fuel ignites. The official struggles to pull the driver out as the tank explodes. Miraculously, the driver runs clear as the fireball erupts around him. This is amazing. The fire control crew is trying to contain the flame, but gas is still pouring out. There it goes again. This fiery accident almost cost one man his life, but within moments, the race begins again. On the road or at the racetrack, do remember the potential for disaster in every powerful automobile. If something goes wrong, don't assume the danger is over, as long as you're near the wreckage. Hamtramck, Mississippi. In the middle of an intersection, a pickup truck smashes into a small car. On the surface, it looks like just another accident, but this is a staged accident and these men are committing insurance fraud. Luckily, the police received a hot tip and are taping everything. This is how it begins. One driver leaves his car abandoned. Down the road, another driver spots his cue and revs his engine. He peels down the street and rams into the car. Immediately, two men jump into the total vehicle. A few minutes later, police and paramedics arrive on the scene. They go into their act, complaining of back and neck pains. They hope their performance will land them a big settlement. But thanks to this police video, they'll have to settle for the real pain of criminal prosecution. By driving car insurance rates up, this type of fraud costs citizens millions of dollars a year. Even innocent drivers can be the target of staged accidents. If you think you've been the victim of a staged accident, report it immediately. Okay, he's getting off on the loop. Collision. And crashes. 
We'll do anything to avoid them. But for a police officer, contact with another car is sometimes the only way to stop a suspect. Okay, let's go. Why are these officers deliberately crashing into each other? They're learning how to end a chase safely with a pit maneuver. The pursuit intervention technique. A pit maneuver disables a suspect's car, giving the police needed seconds to make an arrest. Officers train hard to perfect the technique. Full contact, Chuck. The police pull alongside the fleeing car. Then a calculated turn and a burst of acceleration, and it's all over. At uh, 35, 40 mile an hour, uh, we'll uh, stall the car out and actually kill the car as car dies. When conditions are right, nothing else is more effective. Des Moines, Iowa. Cops pursue a robbery suspect who may be armed. The cops aren't taking any chances. They quickly set up a pit maneuver. Another dangerous suspect is going to jail. By the time you realize what's happened to them, mm -hmm. it's all done. Bravos, Texas. A suspect tries to lose the cops by running the wrong way in traffic. Heading right at them, a couple of cars and a big rig. A pit maneuver is the officer's last best hope to avoid a fatal head-on collision. Okay, if we stop, I'm just going to go away. Amazingly, this chase ends without loss of life. But the pit maneuver is not always an option. Sometimes conditions make it too risky to attempt. Then an officer must do whatever he can. Let go of that gun! Police will always try to prevent a chase before it starts. When this DUI suspect runs, the officer shoots out his tires. With two flat tires, there's not enough traction to safely perform the pit. Speeds are also too high, and the road is too dark and too narrow. When the driver spins out on a turn, the officer seizes the moment and keeps this chase from going any further. Hey, Ford's turned into a driveway here. But what happens when a suspect turns his vehicle into a lethal weapon? Bristol, Tennessee. Two police officers close in on a reckless driver with a suspended license. Okay, we're gonna have a dead end here. The frantic driver thinks he can get one cop off his back. But the suspect only wrecks his own getaway car. But officers aren't the only ones at risk in a chase. If you're on the road, your life could be in danger. Next thing I see is a truck coming. Wonder why he's going, it's my turn. Sometimes other motorists get in the way, on purpose. In Los Angeles, police pursue a robbery suspect. This suspect has several felony warrants out for his arrest. The driver of this red van decides to help. He catches up to the suspect and gets forced across two lanes for his trouble. It could have been worse. This suspect is considered armed and very dangerous. The police do their best to protect you, but there are some things you can do to protect yourself. When you hear sirens, carefully pull over to the right. Staying on the road endangers your life and makes it harder for officers to do their job. 
Don't try to be a hero. You may not come out of it alive. Look for the unexpected. Don't assume the chase is behind you. A desperate suspect could be coming straight at you. The police are highly skilled at performing maneuvers like the pit. Especially in high-risk situations. They train years to use their vehicles like this. Don't let yours get in the way. Next, on Moment of Impact, the most devastating crashes anyone has ever seen. The most sophisticated aircraft ever put to the test. And the most dangerous drivers to ever hit the streets. Next. When spectacular tests become horrifying reality. When sleep takes control at 80 plus. When your worst nightmares come true, you're lucky to walk away alive. One of the worst places for an accident is on a bridge. The height and limited space can turn the slightest mistake into disaster. Guardrails have limited effectiveness, providing safety only at the posted speed. Truckers know the danger of a narrow bridge, but even the most careful driver can make a fatal error. And a bridge is exposed to stress and damage that doesn't affect the average roadway. Pomona, California. A driver has lost control of her car. Now it hangs over the edge of a freeway overpass. The injured driver is still trapped inside. A weakened guardrail is all that keeps the car from crashing to the pavement 60 feet below. Seven, we have Alerts County. Additional units are en route. The seat broke loose and trapped her body under the steering column. With her head forced down, the driver pushes helplessly against the wheel. Go truck over here. Can we have it pull over? Firefighters anchor the car with heavy chains. Still, the slightest motion could upset the delicate balance and send the vehicle plummeting. Believing her car is about to fall, the driver struggles in a blind panic to break free. One of the rescue workers risks his own life to calm the woman. Grasping her hand, he taps her wrist gently to reassure her. But they still have to get her out. First, they move a fire truck under the freeway. How about keeping that light on, would you? Appreciate it, yeah. Then they extend a ladder beneath the front of the vehicle. Two rescue workers crawl out with a high-tension strap. If the car falls now, the aluminum ladder will snap like a twig and both rescuers will be killed. Once the car is secured, they try to pull it back on the road. The metal groans under the pressure. Suddenly, the chassis begins to crack, with the helpless woman still trapped inside. They have to get her out and get her out fast before the framework falls apart. One enters the back seat and tries to break the steering wheel loose. Amazingly, the car remains stable, even under his added weight. Other rescue workers bring the ladder up to the car. Slowly, they lift the woman out. She is covered with cuts and bruises, but they cannot determine the full extent of her injuries until she's safely out of the wreckage. Finally, after hours of being trapped, they pull the woman from the car. She is taken to a hospital where she makes a full recovery. When approaching a bridge, do reduce speed and stay in one lane. Don't accelerate or try to pass. It isn't worth the risk. Every year, 40,000 Americans die as a result of traffic accidents. 
but there would be at least twice as many fatalities if it weren't for one critical thing, crash testing. Every year, thousands of vehicles are sacrificed for one reason, to make car accidents safer for accident victims. Every new vehicle on the market is tested by government agencies, car companies, and universities. They crash cars, off-road SUVs, 18-wheelers, family vans, and even bicycles. They test them head-on and side-on. They even do fender benders. All this testing results in better designed seat belts, faster deploying airbags, safer body structures, and stronger doors. Which means cars are safer for you, your friends, and your family. Remember, it wasn't just luck. When it comes to falling asleep, your body will do anything to get the rest it needs. It doesn't care if you're at home or in your car. If you're driving drowsy, it becomes a nightmare for everyone. Tonopah, Arizona, the scene of a devastating accident. A truck driver fell asleep at the wheel and crashed into another rig. And after I stopped, I still heard stuff going on, you know, crashing and booming and stuff. And, and I didn't know what my future was then. This man's truck was rammed from behind at 80 miles per hour. It jackknifed and flipped over. He survived. The driver of the semi that hit him did not. Most tragically, a family sedan was crushed when the big rig tipped over. All six passengers perished, two women and four children. The only reason they died is because some guy didn't stop and take that 20-minute nap or whatever he had to take, and he died too. Tired drivers can fall asleep for seconds at a time and not even know it. If you feel drowsy behind the wheel, do immediately find a safe place to pull over and take a short nap, ideally 20 minutes long. Truck. Drivers must do whatever they can to stay alert and awake before they fall asleep at the wheel and never wake up again. Coming up on Moment of Impact, violent thought. Become violent action. You lose your temper. Idiot! You could lose your life. Get out of the, way. the most frightening acts of road rage ever caught on tape. Plus, the freedom of flight comes at a high price. Idiot! From the boiling point. What are you doing? To the point of no return. From a rude gesture to a rude awakening. Moments of rage lead to lifetimes of regret. Road rage. Is it real? Some people think it's a national epidemic. Others think it's just an excuse for bad driving. But one thing is for sure. You can never tell what a raging driver will do next. It starts with a simple act, a lane change, or a gesture. What are you doing? You may feel threatened or wrong, and you react. What the hell are you doing? Let's go! Move over! What happens next? Maybe nothing. Or maybe this. Not a new phenomenon. Thugs. Until it happens to you, you may not take it as seriously as you should. Sao Paulo, Brazil. This motorist finds he has nowhere to hide after cutting off another vehicle. Enraged, the driver of the second car takes matters into his own hands. Even their passengers get caught up in the violence. Is road rage real? One look at these men, and the answer seems terrifyingly obvious. Seattle, Washington. One law enforcement agency not taking any chances with road rage is the Washington State Patrol. A special road rage team is working to stop road rage before it starts. 
what we're designed for is to look for the primary aggressors. We're looking for people who are following too close, excessive speed, not using their turn signal, weaving their way through traffic, trying to find the quickest route. An impatient driver in a black Volvo swerves in and out of traffic. He's going almost 80 miles an hour, not using his turn signals and cutting in front of people with only inches to spare. Okay, that's enough for me. Is he being a jerk or is he just in a hurry? It makes no difference why he's driving this way. Each reckless move is an invitation to tragedy. Sometimes it's tough, but you gotta realize that, you know, you don't know who you're driving next to. This time, this driver was lucky. Ontario, Canada. Police are in hot pursuit of a road rager on a suicide mission. A collision has lifted his hood. He can barely see past the engine. After a fight with his wife, this man took his rampage on the road. By the time police caught up with him, he had already left a dozen vehicles and several injured people in his wake. When this guy had me on the gun, he kicked me. He kicked me several times hard. I've got stitches here. Look at the shape of the side of my face. A little bit more and this guy would have killed me. Keep him in lane one. Finally, after a spike strip, okay, he's over it. You're down to 106. and a boldly executed driving maneuver, he's going to hit that cruiser. Get out of the way. The suspect is stopped. Police moving quickly. But the disturbed driver isn't ready to give up without a fight. Is road rage real? Yeah, he tried to run me over on Red Ford's car. For every motorist who crossed this man's path of destruction, it was very real. This guy used his fists and vehicle as weapons. Thank God he didn't have a gun. Catala, Georgia. A woman is testing a new video camera when her husband's truck hits a car. The scene that follows shows us just how deadly road rage can be. After the fender bender, the accusations begin to fly. Nine, you're a lie! You know damn well you've done it on purpose. What are you gonna do about it? Don't do it, man. All right. Don't do it. Don't do it. With neither man willing to back down, the stakes become life or death. I know you carry a damn gun. You're a lying son of a bitch, man. I didn't pull no gun to you, and I ain't got no gun to you. So when I pull a gun at you, I'll use it on you. Now there's no turning back. Although he's been hit, the injured man is able to return fire. When the smoke finally clears, one man has been shot three times. His wife looks on in horror. In a situation where tempers flare, a car is weapon enough. When you add guns to the equation, it's almost certain the unexpected will turn lethal. So remember, before you act, before you react, stop and ask yourself, is it worth it? You may not be able to live with the consequences if you don't. Next, on moment of impact, fast cars, faster airplanes. When speed is a drug, one hit can be deadly. Plus, black ice, the invisible killer. When engines lose their power, when tires lose their grip, when all systems fail, you want to get out any way you can. Speed racing on water is twice as dangerous as speeding on land. Too many things can go wrong on the water for anyone to predict the outcome of a speedboat race or even if a driver starting a race will live to finish it. As 
you can see the patrol boat, the rescue boats, they're doing their job. And just as soon as we know something, we'll let you know. At these speeds, hitting the surface of the water is harder than hitting a concrete wall. There are no guardrails on a lake, and a runaway boat can't go straight into the crowd. Incredibly, bystanders at this incident only sustained minor injuries. But considering the speeds these boats can attain, both the drivers and the spectators are gambling with their lives. Black ice is one of the most common and dangerous road conditions a driver can face. You can't see it coming. You can only pray you're not going too fast when you hit it. The police car recording this video is responding to a 911 emergency call. Road conditions are extremely dangerous. The officer is going as fast as he can without jeopardizing other motorists. Up ahead, a pickup truck pumps its brakes. The driver has just hit a patch of black ice and is fighting to maintain control. Suddenly, the officer himself is in jeopardy. His vehicle hits the ice and begins to swerve wildly. The trained officer steers into the skid, but it's too late. His police car is spinning around like a top. Finally, the vehicle skids to a halt, facing the wrong way on the highway. But the nightmare isn't over. Coming straight toward the officer, a 10-ton mountain of terror, a semi has hit the same patch of black ice and is now skidding out of control, right toward the stalled officer. The officer spins his wheels, trying to get out of the way. The truck driver fights desperately to regain control. At the last second, the semi regains traction and is able to steer clear. It misses the officer by inches. Miraculously, this icy nightmare ended without a single collision. But whenever black ice is present, collisions are waiting to happen. Farmington Hill, Michigan. Freezing rain has left a sheet of black ice on this highway. An officer goes to assist one car that has spun out and is now facing the wrong way. The officer uses extreme caution getting to the vehicle. He knows the danger of black ice and doesn't want to become a casualty himself. Luckily, the female driver inside is unharmed. But what happens next is unbelievable. Another vehicle has hit the same patch of ice. Unable to stop, it skids into and over the other car. Incredibly, neither driver is injured, but they're both very shaken up. Not knowing what else to do, they give each other a reassuring hug, thankful to be alive. When the officer comes to check on them, he nearly takes a spill himself. Even a small patch of black ice can be deadly. Do watch out for shaded areas where ice forms. Do be aware of sudden drops in temperature. And if you start to skid, don't brake hard. Steady pressure is better than pumping the brakes. You can't see black ice coming, but these simple steps could save your life. In the world of transportation, an airplane soars above all other vehicles, but there is a catch. You can't just stop aircraft. You have to land them. But when landing becomes crashing, it can spell disaster for both those on board and those in the path of destruction. That's why so much time and money have been spent developing aircraft safety. For the fighter pilots of the military, ejector seats were developed as last-ditch survival mechanisms. They have saved pilots in many life-threatening situations. From combat, to experimental aircraft testing, to air show stunts gone bad. Ejector seats can even save pilots who have already touched down. This pilot has landed safely on aircraft carriers hundreds of times, but this time something goes wrong. The braking system fails, and his fighter rolls toward the bow of the ship. He can't stop, so he ejects, and the jet topples over the edge. Remarkably, the pilot floats back on the deck, but the intense wind catches his parachute. The crew rushes up to keep him from being blown overboard. Commercial jets have hundreds of passengers to protect. When these big birds touch down, the safety of everyone on board relies on shock-absorbing wheels and struts. 
on extremely rare occasions, they can malfunction or not deploy at all. When this happens, the people on board are in for a terrifying experience. This is why seat belts were required in aircraft even before they were in cars. After most emergency landings, inflatable ramps will open beneath the escape hatches. Passengers then slide down to safety in case the fuel ignites. Or if there's an explosive on board, they must move quickly before time runs out. In case of a water landing, jetliners are equipped with floating seat cushions and inflatable lifeboats. One might think a lake or ocean is the safest place to crash land a plane. But when you try to land on it at 500 miles per hour, it can seem just as hard as ground. For as long as there has been flight, there have been air crashes. Some people have lived through them, some people haven't, but everyone fears them. Airplanes have the best safety record of any type of transportation. Statistics have shown you're safer on board a commercial jet than in your own car. So why are people scared? Because anything that flies so high and goes so fast will crash hard on land or on water if it crashes at all. Thankfully, the great majority of passengers will continue to fly safely and will never have their worst fears realized. Coming up on Moment of Impact, the faster we go, the harder we crash. When there are no limits, there are no second chances, ever. Everyone knows that speed kills, yet most drivers continue to drive a few miles an hour over the speed limit. When drivers deliberately break the law to save a little time, it's not only illegal, it's a blueprint for disaster. Speed is a drug. People use it to shave minutes off their travel time. But when they abuse it, they can shave years off their lives. That's why we have speed limits. But no matter how much we enforce them, people still drive too fast. This semi-truck is speedy when it encounters a radar trap. The driver jams the brakes and the big rig jackknifes. Most of the cars skid to a halt, but a speedy minivan plows into the trailer. The minivan driver is alive, but shaken. Speeding turned her vehicle and the truck into wrecks. If people drive this way with posted speed limits, what's it like on a road without them? Germany's Autobahn, notorious as a speed zone without limits. A two-picture highway camera films a Mercedes rounding a bend at 120 miles per hour, but it can't take the speed. The car smashes into a guardrail, flipping onto its back. It ricochets off another rail and keeps on going. The momentum carries it over 100 yards on its roof. Finally, it slides into a ditch and flips back over. The roof is ripped off and flung aside like tinfoil. The driver staggers out of the wreckage and up the embankment where he sits in a day. As technology increases, so does the speed of life. Whether it's mechanical failure or human error, accidents will happen. And when they do, how we design our machines and how we test them and how responsibly we operate them will mean the difference between losing everything and surviving oh my God. the moment of impact. Brad Pitt stars in the world broadcast premiere of the movie Seven tomorrow at 8, 7 Central. On